Hello Spartans and welcome back to another Blade and Sorcery video. Now, today we're going to be showing the 5 best new-ish mods that I would highly recommend to improve your Blade and Sorcery experience. Now, without any messing around or talking about anything stupid, I'm just going to get straight into the first mod. And as you can see, it is what is happening right here. You can see my eyes are following the camera and my mouth moves when I speak. And this is... Huge Owner's Lip Syncing mod. Now, it's a really cool mod. You can also activate it so that when you talk in your mic, enemies can hear that for stealth. So it's really cool. I really, really like it. Um, not a whole lot more to say about this. There's a few customizable settings. But apart from that, that is really the mod. But it's so good for content creation. And I'll be using it in future because my mouth moves when I talk, even though I am giving the serial killer eyes. But I do blink now, which is really cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next mod. So the next mod on our list is the Zombies mod. And this has been made by Meme Man. It's our first real creature enemy that we've got. Uh, they are so horrible. But they work like real physics. So you can really mess them up. And then they do not go down easy, I will say that. And they do attack, look at that. It's so awesome. I mean, they're incredibly annoying sounding, I will say. But goddamn, they are insane. I mean, they're really trying to take swings at me here. When they get close enough, they really do try. And it's so cool to see a custom creature in game. Even if the animations are a little janky, that is just so cool. It's our first real custom creature that really tries to swing at you. <laughs> It's a shame about no dismemberment right now, but I'm sure that'll get figured out and done soon. But yeah, uh, it's one of the coolest things. It's an endless wave of five things, so you could pull out your guns and just go crazy. If you really, if you had any gun mods or anything like that, that could work perfectly alongside this. So I think that is so damn awesome. They could do with some new noises though. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty though. So cool though, so cool. And all you need to do to start is just find the endless waves. Now, it does have a requirement, which is also made by me, man, which is the Creature SDK modules, uh, which I'm sure he'll use for his other mods in the future. So keep an eye out for more of those. Anyway, moving on to the next mod. So usually, I wouldn't tend to show off my own mods in these videos, but this mod wasn't just made by me. This was made by a decent group of people. Uh, me, Constantino, Rave Lizard. Uh, M -Clay, M Clay did a little bit, Oxy Destroyer, quite a few modders were involved in this mod, so I want to go through a few things that we all did. So, this is the ultimate fantasy pack. Now, this mod has over 130 weapons for you to use, and it has some weapons with crazy abilities, for example, the demonic weapons light on fire, and when you hold the button, slam them into the ground, explosions, and then they slowly charge back up with fire over time. And there is just an endless amount of weapons for you to try out. I mean, <laughs> we have the frost weapons, which when you press the ability, summons ice spikes, which, yes, they should fling enemies up into the sky, or just kill them. Either or, pretty damn awesome. <laughs> we also have like things like the draken weapons, which I absolutely love. And you can set these on fire. You can flip the daggers with the trigger. And when you set them on fire, they will burn enemies down. Very cool. So yeah, I absolutely love all the work that's going into this mod. We actually had Aya who made Sectory. He did some of the scripting for this mod, which is awesome. We have the Vampiric weapons, which have lifesteal. And I think that's really fun to use, honestly. Uh, and our other abilities, I'll let you explore those for yourself. But we have some crazy, crazy stuff. There is also one of the most stable working flails, although when you take it from the bucket it doesn't work too well, you have to spawn it. One of the most stable working flails I have seen in Blade and Sorcery, and I'm very proud of it. And I'm sure you guys have seen me do this in a video, but yeah, the flail is fantastic. And it works incredibly well. So yeah, if you guys want a mod that is just full of content, and has plenty of things to do, definitely go check this one out. It was blowing up last month, and I really hope to see people keep talking about it, because we're going to keep updating it. Anyway, 
moving on to the next mod. Okay, so the next mod actually requires us to be in the home, so that's where we are. And if you select any map you like, you can go over these. So, obviously you have Sandbox. Now, there is Blade Game and Sandbox Bow and Arrow only. Pretty cool. Now, Blade Game. What is Blade Game? Blade Game is basically gun game from Call of Duty. You kill an enemy, you upgrade your weapon. And then that's just how it goes. And it gets stronger and stronger and stronger as it goes up in the tiers. It's really fun. Endless waves. It's insanely, insanely cool. As well as that, we also have our modifiers. So we have bow and arrow only, big head, <laughs> heavy gravity, HP for kills, so lifesteal when you kill enemies, kill slow-mo, lunar gravity, so moon gravity, really cool, remove potion player, remove potion spawn, so you can completely remove potions, no spell wheel, no TK, which I assume means telekinesis, one HP left, which is pretty damn cool not gonna lie super hot which i'll show you now parry slow-mo and respawns in case you just in case you manage to die the respawns are really cool so we're gonna turn super hot on i'm gonna go ahead and take a weapon now i think we'll just go for a standard short sword it's gonna be easy to sh demonstrate with a short sword let's take that and go into super hot okay so if you guys have heard of the game super hot you'll you'll recognize this so the way super hot works is things only move when I move, and time moves as fast as I do. So if you look at these birds, if I move my arms around, they'll move. But otherwise, they don't. It's really cool. So I can really predict enemies' movements like this. Watch this. And it makes for some really cool gameplay. So you can really, like figure out where the enemy's going dodge under it and counter that is so cool and cinematic I love it so we'll get a few kills like this and then we'll go into our last mod Oh, so cool. Oh, it's so awesome. It's so damn cool. Are right, we going to move our sword around so we uh, aggro's? What's he doing? Parry. Thrust. Grab. Kick. Pull. Stop. Dude. I wonder does kicking affect it? No, it doesn't. So we could go, we could like set up a kick. He'll dodge it. Okay. Come on then. Oh, yeah. Okay, and we'll go for one more, just for fun. It's so cool. Okay, we're going to end that there. <laughs> and we'll move on to our final mod. Okay, and the final mod we're going to check out today is... The medieval mega pack now i know it's not new i know i know hate me <laughs> but it did get a new update some pretty cool weapons that i made <laughs> uh this one i made for sushin a while back and i love it it looks awesome and it is a monster when it comes to the damage it's just so cool looking so it's a big japanese axe and uh yeah it hits like a damn truck And it actually has good cutting power as well. That's very cool. <laughs> and the other one that I made for the pack, I won't show you everything, there's way too much in the mod, but I made the great Ika Ikalalaka, I think it's called. <laughs> I can't really say it, but it's so cool.
And it does a lot of damage. I think it looks pretty good too. So, with that, I'm going to let you know that there are over 300 weapons in this mod if you haven't heard of it. And if you haven't heard of it, oh. god damn that's a miracle, because you really should have. But yeah, it's an incredible, incredible, incredible mod. Uh, go check it out. New update came out a few weeks ago, and i absolutely loving it. So, don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe, because... God damn, we want to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. In a bit.